everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new so in this week's challenge we're gonna try facelifting massage for a whole week to see if it actually makes a difference so you may ask yourself what is a facelifting massage um, I'm sorry for the weird accent but actually I'm not quite sure myself so I'm gonna do my research for a bit and then come back to you with answers and a tutorial about how to do it the correct way and then we can start the challenge you can see here some scary before pictures of this experiment, but let's go back to the tutorial. So it's been a few days since we last met, and um, as you can see, my face had made some new friends, but it's okay because that's not what we're here for. And after I've done my research, I'm gonna show you how to do this facelifting massage and how I did it for the last past days. So I actually have like two days left for this challenge. So in two days, I'm gonna film the last part of this video and see if actually this makes some kind of a difference. So in this part of the video, I'm gonna show you how I did it for the last few days. So let's start. Okay, so we are starting out with a clean face and after our face is clean, we can put on our favorite moisturizer. It doesn't really matter the kind, but we do need to make sure that it soaks slowly into the skin so our skin stays elastic for a long time. Make sure to take off any rings you have on your fingers and now we can start. I am starting from my neck. I'm doing this motions from my neck to my jawline for 10 times. Now I'm going to move to the face and before starting the massage for the face I am putting on serum. The serum can actually help the face be more elastic for a while and also these motions make the serum soak into the skin better so why not. I'm moving up from my chin to my jawline, moving upwards and kind of pulling the skin. As you probably noticed, the serum dripped on my shirt and this is typically me. I think you probably got the idea by now, so I'm gonna stop talking and put on some nice music for you guys and I'll see you at the end of the tutorial. This basically sums up what I did every day for the last four days and again I have two more left. So I'm gonna be back in two days to see the final result of this challenge and I'm really curious to know if this simple act can actually make a difference in my face. So I'll be back in two days. So before I'm gonna show you the end result, I wanna show you a little montage of the last week of me doing this challenge. So here is me making weird faces to the camera, enjoy! So my makeup looks a little bit extra. Uh, I just filled some TikToks for a makeup brand, but I figured out that it's a great opportunity for me to pick up the camera and just talk about that challenge, so let's do it. So actually, my original plan was to make a new challenge every week or two weeks, depending on the challenge needs. So I really wanted to try the Chloe Ting challenge, and I know we're not in 2020 anymore, but I never completed one of her challenges, so I wanted to try. But on the second day of this challenge, I got sick and I couldn't work out. I was really, really sick in the last few days, but now I'm getting better. But either way, let's talk about the facelifting massage challenge and what are my thoughts. So as you probably saw on the short I uploaded a few days ago, there were some results from the facelifting massage that I did twice a day for seven days, but um, my face, my acne, my zits, my blackheads, everything got worse. And I don't know if it's because of this facelifting massage, because I touched my face so much twice a day, or if that doesn't have any connection with this, but the fact is that what happened. So maybe I should try to do this challenge or to do this exercises with 
something else like a roller or something like that and not my hands even though I did do it at night after I showered so my hands were clean and in the mornings I did it first thing in the morning I brushed my tooth washed my hands and did did my face care routine so I'm not sure if that's really connected but that's what happened and you surely can see it in the before and after pictures that my face is a lot more sensitive and that I have a lot more spots than the before pictures so um, if you are worried about that I don't think I suggest this challenge just because it was a bummer to see a transformation in the shape of my face but a transformation also in the condition of my face it was a lot more red it had a lot more spots and it was a little bit of a bummer because i saw change but i just saw other things as well so i'm not sure if i'm gonna do this challenge again or to put this in my routine um, again as i said maybe with a roller or something like that but even when you use a roller or something like that, you really have to wash it well after every time you use it because this thing is a potential for bacteria to grow in. So I'm not sure if that's really a better alternative, but overall I can see a change in my face shape. You can see it in the before and after pictures as well. And I'm sure that if I will keep doing it, there will be a bigger change in my face shape my jawline is gonna be a lot more sharp and maybe my chin is going to be um, a bit lifted but i'm not sure that i am willing to do it if it comes with all these spots so as i said in the beginning of this part my goal is to make a different challenge every single week and i would love if you could write down in the comments below a challenge idea for a whole week and could be really whatever pops into your brain it could be about food it could be about fashion it could be about lifestyle whatever you want i really would love you to write me some suggestions and i'll see you next week bye